Hey, what's up? So in the last video, I gave you some tips and advice if you find yourself in a work from home situation due to this whole COVID-19 outbreak. And that was really directed towards the people that are in a situation where they're able to work from home, but there are people who cannot work at all right now, unfortunately. And as tempting as that might be to just use this as a vacation and binge watch your next Netflix series, I do think it is an important time to actually use this as an opportunity to advance your skills and advance your knowledge because of what's coming down the road. So have a look at this video and hope you find it helpful. What's up everyone? Happy Friday, Alvaro Barrios here, sorry, with Alvaro Barrios Digital. And I wanted to hop on here, I did a live Wednesday and I wanted to do another live today. So Wednesday's live was really focused on the people that are in a situation where they're actually forced to work from home and they may not be used to doing that. But there's also people that are in a more unfortunate situation where they actually can't work at all right now. They have to stay at home, in some cases not earning a paycheck and there's a lot of uncertainty for those people. And I know some people have even been laid off at this point. And for those that are in that boat, I can tell you, uh, you have my deepest sympathies. I know exactly what you're going through. Uh, my very first job actually out of college was at a mortgage bank and that was during the financial crisis. So it's probably not too surprising to hear that during that financial crisis, I got laid off from that job. I know it's a little bit strange from mortgage banker now now to a marketer. Uh, it's an interesting transition for sure. But um, I, like I said, I do fully understand the situation that you're going through. And I just want to let you know that I deeply sympathize with you and if there's any way I can help you, feel free to reach out at me anytime. Kind of going back to my original point is, you know, there's a lot of people stuck at home right now, again, whether they're working or they're not working. And I think an unfortunate trend that has started to happen is that you're seeing headlines of how streaming platforms such as Netflix and Disney Plus are having biggest days and weeks ever. They're even having to, in some cases, lower the quality of their videos and movies that they have on their platforms in order to make sure that the speed can still keep up with everyone who is on the platforms. I've seen gaming platforms have their biggest days ever. And so it's tempting right in these situations and these times to just sit back, relax, binge some Netflix, play some video games and just kind of hang out on the couch. But uh, it's really important to figure out what to do right now with regards to what's going to be happening in the future. And so I understand that it may be tempting in the situation to just hang out, especially because if you're reacting in anger, but remember how you react to the situation is up to you. 100%, right? So yes, it may be a terrible situation where you're forced to work from home or unfortunately you've been laid off, but how you react to it is 100% your choice. Meaning as an example, right, if someone cuts me off on the freeway, I can either get really angry at them or can tell myself, oh, maybe this person is dealing with an emergency that they really need to get to. That choice is 100% mine and it's no different here in this circumstance. So you may not have control over what is going on, but you do have control over your thoughts and your actions actions based upon your thoughts. And that's really what I want to focus on today. So everyone here, you know, in the current situation is really focused on the health aspect of what's going on with COVID-19, but they're not thinking about what's going to happen further down the line. And the unfortunate thing, one of the most unfortunate things is that this is going to have some deep underlying economic impacts, right? Because obviously businesses are shut down, they're making a lot less revenue than they typically do. And that's why you already even see people getting laid off right now. When you have the world world's largest economies in the United States, Canada, all of Europe, and a bunch of other countries all over the world shutting off, right? That's going to have a deep economic impact. That's how nations survive is with their economic health. And when they're turned off, essentially, as they are right now, that's going to have some long term ramifications on the economy. And so I don't think people are really noticing that or paying attention to that. And so it's very important for you to react appropriately, meaning instead of retreating to the couch uh, during this time and been some Netflix, I think it's absolutely 100% pivotal and important in order to skill up during this time. And so what do I mean by that? This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn and acquire new skills, whatever that may be, right? We are moving more and more towards a digital economy. That would be kind of my recommendation in terms of how to think of what skills to acquire and learn. But at the end of the day, it is up to you, right? And there's so many different places you can go and skill up, right? There's sites like Udacity and Udemy and Skillshare, you know, people like me, you know, if you're interested in Facebook ads, you know, this isn't, I'm not trying to make a hard pitch here, but Facebook ads is something that you want to learn more about. That's something that I can help you with. Or if you want to learn more about, you know, YouTube or video editing or sound editing, you know, whatever it may be, even programming, right? There's all sorts of different programming languages out there and a bunch of different sites that teach you how to do programming. So it is very, very important to start skilling up during this period because it'll only set you up for success further down the road. And so again, I'm not trying to be a doomsdayer here or anything like that, but I do 
do think it is important to be strategic and stuff like that. So I'm not acting in fear, but I do think it is important to be very strategic um, to seal something directly that I heard from James Wedmore. I don't go to sleep every single night worrying that someone's going to break into my house, but I still do lock the doors because it's just the smart thing to do, right? It's the safe thing to do. And so it's no different here, right? You can either react in fear and be angry and just kind of retreat, or you can be smart and strategic and acquire new skills right now. That way, further down the line, when these ramifications start to kind of become more apparent, you'll be in a position where you'll still be safe, secure, and be able to provide for yourself, for you and your loved ones. So that's just really all I wanted to come on here and encourage you to do during this period. Remember that everyone around you is observing how you respond to the situation, whether a spouse or a significant other, whether it's your parents, your children, friends, your siblings, right? And when you think of it that way, right, everyone can agree that you would love for everyone to see the way you react to this as a as an opportunity, right? That you're going to invest in yourself. You're going to progress your life both personally and professionally. And you don't want everyone to see you as just a person that retreated and laid back and didn't do anything during this period, right? So remember how if you want to be in more of a role model type of situation, then just think about how everyone's going to be observing the way you respond to this whole situation. And again, if you respond to it by looking at as an opportunity to learn new skills, to set yourself up for either a different or similar career in the future, then that'll just have a better impact to those around you because they will be inspired and likely take similar action. That's all I want to come and share today because I really do believe strongly in this that I think it's absolutely pivotal and vital for people to develop new skills during this period. You know, again, I do want to encourage people to keep on supporting local businesses as much as possible. I was actually driving around the other day and I saw super, super long lines at fast food chains, the national fast food chains. And I thought that was very unfortunate because, you know, while yes, the national fa fast food chains are going to take a hit during this period, at the end of the day, they're going to be fine. The businesses that are going to struggle the most are, you know, small and local businesses. So I do encourage everyone to support them as much as possible, shop local, go to a small business near you. You know, a lot of the restaurants, uh, local restaurants in my area, not only are they doing takeout, but they're actually also offering a discount um, for everyone that does a takeout. Please, again, do support your local businesses as much as possible during this time. So that's all I've got for you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. What's up, YouTube? If you found this video helpful and you want to see if there's a way for you and I to work together, head on over to alvarobarros.com, fill out a form, schedule an appointment, and we'll see what the best situation is for you and I to move forward and work together. If you found this video helpful, please support the channel by hitting that like button and leave your comments below. Let me know what else you'd like for me to cover and I'll try to cover it as best as possible. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any new videos when we put them out. That's all I've got for you today. Take care and see you soon.